talking earlier about your position at Carnegie Foundation and how you worked on quality improvement strategies to solve really important educational problems. Tell us a little bit about how you worked on those problems. So in, in general, there's an issue in, in education and in the educational research specifically where I think we're still very much trying to figure out what works in education, right? So we'll have people that come up with big ideas and they do a small sort of randomized control trial, we call it, right? Where you do a scientific study on a particular population, you get some success, so you spread it everywhere. And we've seen this, think about like the past 10 years, right? Charter schools, small schools, teacher pay. And some of those did have some success in some areas. I'm not saying they were, you know, not worthwhile. But what we found by and large is that what works for some people under some conditions doesn't work for everybody. And so Carnegie's approach is a little bit different. What they do is they work with teachers and they put them together in, in networks and then they have like one teacher you know, small or a very small number, try one strategy and see if it works. And if that works, and then they try have, you know, say five people try it and see if it works. And, and then they spread it more broadly, but very gradually from a very small number of people to as you get more sort of traction and realize, uh, you know, that it works or not, you spread it. And, and the thing that's interesting about that is that you through doing research that way and, and working in education that way, you learn not just about what works, but what works for whom and under what conditions. So it's incredibly powerful. They've had great results where, you know, in some cases they've had like triple the success in half the time, um, just because you're finding out exactly what works and, and for which people and what doesn't work for which people, or maybe it's another strategy. And just as a teacher, I love it because it's so practitioner focused, right? Like I have such an active role as a teacher in this where I'm like, hey, you know, I, I tried this strategy, I, you know, I use manipulatives for math, and let's say I'm teaching the fourth grade, like, you should try that, and you're like, oh, well, that didn't work for me, but I actually, you know, uh, tried manipulatives for, I don't know, English language or something, and that worked, and so we can kind of swap ideas and figure out what works for which types of students and which types of teachers, and so it's just more likely to be successful. I think it's, in some ways, it's much more of a I, th I think a gradual process, you know, and, and it's, it can be less sexy than I have this big idea, let's just spread it everywhere. But it actually works and it's one of the only things that I've seen working in education in terms of educational improvement. So I'm really proud of the work that, you know, I did there and that they continue to do because I think it has the potential to change not just education on like a local and national level, but really how we think about it around the world, which is cool. And I'm excited to sort of, you know, learn from other teachers and, and figure out, you know, what they know that might help my own practice.